I really wanted a flashy introduction to this video, but I just couldn't think of one. So, shall we just get on with it? I don't do unboxing videos, we'll get it out of the box, we'll compare it to its little brother, and you can see exactly why this is such a special acquisition for me at St Blazy Model World. As a scale model maker, I'm certainly well into buying things on impulse. I think we all are really, if we're honest about it. But when I tell you I've waited years, almost decades for this to come my way, what does make it so special? Well, it's a London Transport DMS bus. Uh, you've probably got one of these or possibly got one of these on your model railway diorama. They're not that rare. But what is it about this particular one that made me pay what I paid? I will reveal the amount shortly. Um, and why did I hang on in the marketplace for one of these models? Comes from uh, Gilbo Holdings, um, part of EFE or the parent company of EFE. Should apologise, by the way, for the indoor filming. It's a lovely sunny day here and I did try to film this outside but the sunlight was bleeding everything out, so we've had to come back indoors. Okay then, this is the product on review out of the box, and this is serious stuff. At scale 124. This is, this is absolutely the dog's doodah. This really is an amazing piece of engineering. If you collect model buses, you may be familiar with Sunstar, who make the RM and RT type buses. It's not widely known actually that EFE also made 124 scale models. Why does this one hold such a valued part in my collection? All right then, let's start having a look at some of the features of this big boy. Well, for many of these features, it's easier to refer to the box than the model. And let's have a look at the box. What do we get for our money? Well, of course, as well as the model itself, we get rotating lines. We can change the destination. We get steering and front suspension. We get rear suspension. We get a rear opening engine compartment with a detailed engine inside. And we get opening emergency exit at the back all authentic to the actual vehicles that i drove and if you don't believe me let's just have a quick look we can just press down on this i'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up but this model really does have suspension built in and it has all of the other features promised in the box it also has a pair of mirrors that go here of course and here they're going to stay in the box why because well i'm not yet in my forever home when i do get to my forever home this model will be proudly on display fully fitted as it should be well that's all very well but what is the cost well considerable if you look on internet auction sites for one of these you will often find people purporting and claiming to have a 124 scale EFE DMS for sale, only to find that actually they're offering you the smaller version. Ah, nothing a bit of Viagra can't fix. But it is a fact of life. These are rare. They're rare. To find one, in the depot that you particularly want if like me you've wanted one from a particular depot you have to be prepared to wait years and as for cost well i'll be upfront about it i paid 500 pounds uk sterling money for this model why so much well it is partly a representation of my life and my career as a bus driver. So, having spent such a large amount of money, is it worth it? To me, yeah, absolutely. Of course it is. 
coming towards the end of my working life. I'm in semi-retirement. I only work a couple of days a week. And I want things around me as I get older that remind me of that working life because it has been a working life that has kept me employed all my life in a very satisfactory way. Everything about this model represents my career, my life. And if you think that £500 is a lot to pay, well, if you're a model railway guy, as am I, I also do model railways. Um, and if you're not sure, check out my channel. Um, you're going to spend quite happily three, four, five, six, seven hundred pounds on a DCC fitted double O gauge Pullman set or an HST set or something else. So, yes, it's worth it. Um, I had a comment a while ago about one of my Tamiya remote control trucks, which are one fourteenth scale. And somebody said, oh, it's a bit rich. Well, is it really? You know, if we're lucky enough to be able to afford this stuff, and I realise not everybody is, but I am, why not? Why not have a memory of your working life that, you know, is going to last with you? So my final thoughts, is it worth it? Well, personally, to me, of course, yes, it is part of my life, part of my working history. As a model maker, as a scale model maker and a collector, yes, I, I do think so, actually. Um, it's hard to judge, isn't it, what we, we really want to go for when we're collecting items as a individual. I always say that you should base a collection on something that means something to you. Um, and that's how I feel about this. I have waited a really long time to get one of these, but I do think, for me personally, yes, it's worth it. Is the model up to standard? Is it up to scratch? Yes, there are one or two drawbacks. It's not entirely accurate. These things never are. I'd love to have seen that side destination in play. But we can't have everything. We, as well as everything else that was promised on the box, by the way, we've got opening doors. Uh, these ones are a little bit stuck, these front two, but they should open with a little bit of uh, cleaning and work. Passengers get in here and they exit here. That was the, what, the way of life, you know, in my career as a London bus driver. So, yes, I to me, Absolutely, it's worth it. So my advice is to collect things and buy things that mean something to you. And that's what you should do. Buy quality when you can afford, because quality never decreases in value. And buy things that matter to you. Uh, that's it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. I, it's kind of a mix between a product review and a, a bit of bragging rights and a bit of everything else. I don't mean it to be that way. I really don't. Um, a number of my subscribers I actually talked to on the telephone. You know I'm not that way, guys. But this really was something special for me, and I, I thought it was a good and appropriate thing to share it with you and why it meant so much to me. Um, the next video we're going to do is, oh, I put a poll out, didn't I? Building a kit to an exhibition standard. Um, oh, oh, that was it. Yes, it was uh, the reality of buying a second-hand collection of model railway items. That didn't work out as well as I hoped. Um, but stay tuned as always. Like and subscribe. If you've enjoyed this one, if you've found something of value in it, and we'll see you next time at St. Blazy Model World. I've been Roger. Bye-bye for now. Thank you. Thank you for your time.